your own Terminator with the Bio Flesh Regenerator. I'm back. Yeah? Think again. Toys with battle damage have always been absurdly cool. From the Terminators and Robocops in the 90s to the iconic He-Man damage battle armor toys in the 80s. Battle damage is absolutely cracking. So, with that in mind, let's have a look at Galvatron, who's got some, quite frankly, rubbish battle damage. So the battle damage on this guy is like most of the siege line that preceded it, uh, painted on. And as you can see on the chest and the arms, it's just this kind of weird lilac-y painted scuff marks just painted on the guy. So he's also got some rather fetching scuff marks on his shin pads like he's been tackled in Tranmere Rovers. And there's a challenge goes in from Jay Spearing and that is a challenge. So let's go ahead and get the old cannon off him and uh, hit the old alcohol. Yep, that's right. We're going to use isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Um, now, this stuff is a little bit weird to get a hold of in the UK. Uh, I ended up getting it um, through the mail through Amazon. Um, even though I've read that you can get it in um, places like Tesco's and Boots and that sort of thing, I've never really managed to find it effectively on these shores. So uh, mail order is probably your best best bet. So it comes in a couple of different concentrations. I'm using the 70% concentration here, but you can get 90% and you can get less than that as well. But 70% seems to be okay. And uh, you can either do what I'm doing here, which is use cotton buds and uh, some antibacterial wipes afterward to clear the solution off there. It does take a bit of elbow grease to get by work in, so you sometimes might have a better option to actually maybe disassemble the toy if you can and leave it in the alcohol for a little bit just to kind of let it, let it soak in. Um, be careful though, uh, don't do that on any particularly soft um, plastics because it might actually damage the plastic. But in this case, the chest piece and the arms, they're quite sturdy, so uh, it's not too bad. And also, there's no other paint on them apart from the battle damage, so again, that's not much to worry about there. When it came time to do the legs, um, I was quite surprised to see that these stripped the paint like nobody's business. This just came off super easy, so uh, whatever paint was on the body part um, certainly was a lot less on the legs, so that was good. And that's basically that. Oh, look at him. He's sexy. Probably. 